Morning, everyone. This is Uma coming to you. What's your weekend reading for Saturday, February 3rd and Sunday, February 4th? It's your daily readings for the weekend. Good morning. Come on in as I get my decks ready. I hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. I already had a great start to mine um, from Friday, and I can't wait to see what the weekend brings. Okay. So first we're going to pull for Saturday, then we'll pull for Sunday, and I usually do a weekend reading, not a daily reading over the weekends, because most times I'm teaching. You guys know I own Lotus Wellness Center in Manassas, so I always have some awesome classes, spiritual development, psychic development going on all the time. All right, here we go. What is the energy for today, Saturday, February 3rd? We have... Life Experience card, Nine of Fire, and Knight of Fire. So a lot of action today, a lot of movement forward, um, and it's coming about because you've had a recent understanding, a recent opening, if you will, <clears throat> revelations that come about with the Life Experience card. The Life Experience card is akin to the Tower card in traditional Rider Waite. So it's that tower coming down, and it's a shakeup. It's a shakeup that happened in your life, but the shakeup made you stronger, right, in instituting your boundaries with other people or just for yourself to know what it is you want and don't want in your life. And because of that, you're going to have a lot of rapid forward movement. So today is a day of movement. It's energy. It's passion. It's excitement. It's things moving forward because you had this big shakeup, this big revelation, and now you're spreading your wings. You're ready to fly. Okay? It's about you today. It's about you and your journey and how other people fit into it is how they fit into it. But you're putting down the boundaries. You're throwing down the gauntlet and saying, hey, this is who I am. You can be in my life. You can respect me. You can be with me. But this is who I am. It's a great card. It's a great card for everyone. Okay? Even people in relationships. Because sometimes people say, well, should I do that if I'm in a relationship? Yeah. You got to be true to you. Right? And then if that other person's true to them and you're true to you, then you got a great relationship. So a great card for today because it's about you. It's about establishing boundaries. It's about honoring your path. A lot of good information, insight will be coming today. Okay, let's go ahead and see what Sunday looks like. The Empress. Three of Air. And the World. So if you guys know me and you've seen me read, I almost have like, a fear of this card, Three of Air. And it's funny that we're pulling it because I did my annual reading. I don't just do it for you guys, I do it for myself too. And in my annual reading, I get this in one of my months. And I go into, oh my gosh, am I gonna have a breakup? Is my relationship gonna end? And I go into that fear and I was just thinking about this this morning. But then I, I looked up, I researched you know, the Three of Swords and I said, is there any positive aspects to the Three of Swords? And there was a lot of people that wrote in and said, yeah, clarity, awareness, right? Sometimes like we, we think we're going down a path and we think it's for us. And then this three of air card brings that awareness. And I actually like the words on this card because it says great sadness, take the time to heal, the need to forgive self and others. So it's not as strong as the three of swords where it talks about rejection, heartbreak, loss, you know, endings. It talks about, you know, maybe you need some time to heal. Which makes sense because pair that with the Empress, she's all about nurturing. So what I feel on Sunday, it's like a down day, a downtime day where you are going to be reflecting on your past hurts. Okay, so let's, let's address the elephant in the room. For some of you, it's an endings day, okay? That is the three of air. It's an endings day. It's a breakup day. It's a relationship ending, you know, um, finding out bad news, tragic news, you know, it, it's that. But I don't want to put that out there to the universe. I'm a big fan, supporter of Law of Attraction. So I'm going to go with it's a day of reflecting on those past hurts and nurturing yourself because of the Empress. Okay, so you have abundance coming in with the Empress. So financial worries over, finances looking good. 
but you also have an opportunity to nurture yourself and nurture others and be in that loving environment, right? So three of air doesn't have to be as bad as you make it out to be, and we will all see how this goes on Sunday. And then you have the world. Now, the world is an endings card, right? But it's a job well done, and it's a path towards enlightenment. It's an ending that you want. It's the ending of a journey. So the way I'm going to read this for Sunday is that this three of air card is your past, okay? It's whatever you've been lamenting or crying over or hurting over, we have the ending of that completely and totally, and we have the empress bringing in something new, okay? So I'm going to take it as this is a great weekend for all of us because, you know, I'm just not all about that negative energy or... You know, saying that I, what I like about tarot is that you get to see the energy of the day and then you get to decide how that's going to go because you have the option to really be down that, you know, dirt road down the rabbit hole or you can kind of say, okay, that's what's meant to happen, but I'm going to take this in a different light. And here you go. The mantra for the weekend is forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Isn't that what I said? I really feel that three of air card is about letting go. Not letting go of a relationship, but letting go of the past, letting go of hurts done to you or against you, just letting it all go. So this is a really wonderful weekend. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I'll give you guys more clarity. See, I know my stuff, right? It's a weekend of nurturing and love. It's, it's a weekend of relationships growing to a deeper level, nurturing yourself, nurturing others, right? So whatever that you're feeling the ick this weekend, it's, it's clearing its way out because it is the end of, well, the next card is nine of air. It's the end of difficult situations. What is nine of air? Sleepless nights, right? Sleepless nights, self-fulfilling prophecies you know, expecting the worst. And that's why we have the nine of air with the 10 of air, because it's the end of that this weekend. If you guys can stand the up and up, it's the end of that. And then for some of you, new love coming in this weekend, start to a relationship or a relationship restarting and ace of earth money. So we have it here for a great weekend, guys. It's just where are you going to put your energy? Are you going to put it with that? Or are you going to put it somewhere else? You decide, you let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And for those of you new to my channel, welcome. Please click subscribe so you can always get the readings as they come out. Love you guys. Bye.